turtle facts, but they quickly get more and more disturbing. Triggering the Jurassic Park fans, the sounds of the Velociraptors were actually sounds of turtles having sex. If you don't believe me, Google it. Speaking of which, I was not gonna do this, but you said I couldn't ruin them, so... Here's what these shell jockeys are packing in an 11 inch hammer, and no, I am not gonna apologize for this video, you basically asked for it. Turtles don't produce saliva, they need water to swallow food. If you give a turtle food with no bed, he'll proceed to choke to death right in front of you. There used to be a giant sea turtle that grew to 13 feet long and weighed up to 5,000 pounds. And since they have beaks, one bite could easily take your arm off and turn any conservative completely left. Speaking of mouth, here's a reminder this is what their mouth and throat looks like. Those papillae are designed to help hold slippery jellyfish in place while it tries not to swallow seawater, but it also looks like you deep-throated a thorn bush. Most turtles carry salmonella on their outer skin and shells and it accidentally gets passed on to kids that put them near their mouths. Catching this means you can look forward to nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and a loss of the will to live. Sea turtles probably have the worst childhood of any animal. They never meet their parents and have to crawl to the ocean by themselves. In a class of 1000, maybe one will live a meaningful life, the rest get the Disney side character treat. Someone on Instagram dared me to ruin horses and I wasn't gonna do it because the horse community is a community I want zero, actually negative smoke with but then he said you won't on god and because this young man decided to invoke the name of the lord in my instagram dms on a sunday afternoon i am choosing verbal violence trigger warning in three two one those are what the hooves of a baby horse look like and if it makes you uncomfortable you are not alone those horse feathers are epinechium and it's a soft capsule that protects the mother's uterus and birth canal from the sharp hooves of her baby there is no protecting your sanity though because looking at this too long makes me want to take a shower they wear off once the horse full starts walking, but what doesn't wear off is the mental anguish of anyone seeing this for the first time. And while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and trigger y'all again. If you're not hiding in the comments, you might want to do it now. That is a horse with a degloved hoof, and it's when an entire part of the hoof detaches, leaving it without a cap. This happens when the horse gets their hoof caught on something like a cattle guard. It's like tearing your toenail, but times a thousand. Horses can survive this, but it's one of the most severe injuries they can get. I didn't want to do this to y'all, but when you challenged me on Instagram, this is what happened. Someone on Instagram said I couldn't ruin frogs, so now I'm gonna make it your problem. Major trigger warning. A surname Toad is a frog that gives birth from its back, holding them under its skin until the tadpoles force their way out. I don't have trypophobia, but this image makes me want to Helen Keller myself so I can never be assaulted like this again. Frogs can't vomit like decent people, instead they spit their stomachs out their mouths to get rid of something they ate. And then they put it back in like nothing ever happened. Hairy frog will break its own bones, shove the bones out of its skin, and use them as claws. Sounds crazy, but if a guy came up to me, broke his wrist, and tried to slash me with his exposed bone, Usain Bolt would be the second fastest man. A titty caca frog looks like it went through three rounds of liposuction because the extra skin helps it absorb more oxygen. But it also makes him look like a Muppet's testicle. A poison dart frog can put ten men in coffins and they got their name because people would rub them on the end of darts and throw them at ops. If you got hit, you'd be paralyzed completely and left to die. The male Darwin frog will swallow children like a first year sorority pledge. The babies will form in his vocal sac until he gives birth by vomiting his own children out. If you remove a frog's liver, it will explode. When scared, they puff themselves up and without a liver to hold their organs in place, they tear their lungs and send their insides flying. The more you know, butterfly facts, but they slowly get disturbing. Butterflies have a nasty diet that includes mud, sweat, urine, blood, feces, and dead bodies. They taste with their feet, so if one lands on you, it's not because he likes you, he's taste testing your sweat. If you ever see the purple emperor, you might be closer than you think to a corpse. This butterfly feeds on rotting flesh and they find it through smell. They're also attracted to urine soaked fox poop because why the f not? Butterflies have a proboscis that they feed through and this is what it looks like up close and now I understand why Spongebob almost burnt the city to the ground. And because butterflies can't bite or chew, they drink everything through that straw of a nose. Meaning the butterflies that feed on corpses or feces literally suck the fluids out. Are they still cute now? Certain chemicals released by plants can cause caterpillars to start eating each other. The most poisonous butterfly in the world is the Antimicus swallowtail, which is potent enough to take out six cats and they're found in Uganda. To the person on Instagram that said I couldn't ruin butterflies, this video is for you. And to make up for the trauma this video may or may not have caused, check out this cool app to make friends in your area. Meet new people by hitting the link in my bio. Who knows, you might see me there. I'm starting to think I know too much. That most definitely exist, but I refuse to acknowledge their existence based on principle. The video inspired me to speak my truth, so here's four animals that disturb me on an emotional level. First is the walrus, because something about a 2200 pound blubber ball with ice picks for teeth, I do not trust. I'm not afraid of them, but I definitely wouldn't be able to make eye contact with this thing. Also, they put polar bears in coffins and we don't even talk about it. But if I'm being honest, there's only one reason I feel this way. If you remember this cartoon, you probably remember this. This bastard wrecked me spiritually, I don't know why anyone thought it was okay to show kids is the marabou store because i do not approve of their vibe nicknamed the undertaker because i'm pretty sure they snatch souls They're five feet tall with a 10 foot wingspan apparently they murk children it does not help matters that they look like an std with a beak for this massacre and tell me they're not malicious intent with wings next is a telescope fish because they're way too try hard nature was trying to prove a point here and i don't approve of it but number one is definitely this five nights at freddy's animatronic looking demon everything about them is unsettling from the clogged shoe beak to the soul sap eyes to the fact that they sound like a machine gun always look like they're planning something malicious worst part is they're actually sweet around humans but i'll never trust this jurassic reject even the babies look like the brood of lucifer this is what you would look like next to some of the biggest animals ever 
First you have literal flying Satan, the Quetzalco Atlas, aka Murder Tweety built like a fighter jet the size of a giraffe. They could have a wingspan of 36 feet and weigh 550 pounds. If you're wondering how this air demon could fly, this was back when nature didn't know its own rules. All I know is that you'd be nothing but a Ritz cracker to them. Next we have the Elasmotherium aka the Siberian Unicorn and this is S tier disrespectful. This hell unicorn could grow to 15 feet and violate Weight Watchers at 9,000 pounds. This roid rhino was actually closer in size to a woolly mammoth. Even though they were vegetarians, if they were still alive, they'd have a higher body count than a Kardashian at the NBA All-Star Game. Next, we have the Paraceratherium, and fun fact, this abomination was a hornless rhino that would have taken lunch money from elephants. They were the largest land mammals ever given life, and at 30 feet long, 44,000 pounds, they could turn an entire family reunion into a hashtag by sitting in the wrong spot. Like, look at its skull and tell me nature was a wall in here. But that's somehow nothing compared to the middle finger that was Dano Suchis. It was a 40-foot crocodile that would have turned people into chalk outlines like nothing. They allegedly had a 20,000 pound bite force, so them slamming their jaws would be like Thanos snapping his fingers. He would have been inevitable. Do you remember the whole debate where it was like, who would you rather fight, a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Where there's an easy answer, but the reason why is, uh, let's get into it. First of all, a hundred tiny horses would be death by a thousand bites, but death would be a lot better than what the duck would do to you. You see, ducks often confuse humans for other ducks, which is why ducklings can imprint on human caretakers. But here's where it would get interesting. Large birds like ostriches and emus have been known to find humans attractive, and they will even ignore members of their own species to flirt with them. And this is exactly what this looks like. So if ducks were the size of horses, they would take one look at us and choose love, not war. But you do not want to be loved by a duck. They evolved a corkscrew phallus, literally designed to make them better at cosbeing each other. And if ducks are anything, they're persistent because they will grape with a silent G another duck to death and then proceed to grape the dead body too. I forgot to mention the biggest duck Peter was about 17 inches, do not ask me how I know that. So a hundred duck sized horses would be bad. But a horse sized curly fry flaunting feathery Bryce Walker is a check you do not want to cast because it would literally be your ass. Top 5 worst animal births you'll be glad you'll never have. Number 5 is the elephant because how would you like to be knocked up for 22 months just to give birth to a 300 pound baby? That 660 days of maternal hell and no amount of tax breaks or child support will ever make that okay. Number four is the termite queen because she can give birth every 15 seconds for 10 years straight and on a good day she can pop out 30,000 eggs. I don't care how tough you think you are, your kitty would look like a flat tire after day one. Number three is the kiwi bird for the violation that is this picture. This New Zealand bird has to push out an egg that's 20% of its size. You're probably wondering, so that's like a 160 pound woman birthing a 32 pound child and if you're crossing your legs at the thought, I don't blame you, that is horrible. A nuclear bomb to the waist down would do less damage. This is the nonsense they have to deal with compared to emus and ostriches. Hyenas at number two might surprise you, but wait till you see number one. Females have a pseudo penis they give birth from, and yes, it's as bad as you think. The first time mother will die if her cub gets stuck, and 60% of cubs will suffocate because they can't break free. Only way out is by splitting the pseudo in half. Number one is the sea loss because first she gets dragged into a dungeon and gets cosbied by the male. Then her babies shoot through her and split her body in half. Basically gets reverse Casey Anthony for her troubles. We seem to get comments like this, so here are the top four reasons why Megalodon is 100% dead. Number one, we've discovered 20% of the ocean, and the only place they can live without us knowing is the bottom of the ocean. Only problem is, as a warm water shark, not only would the cold put the mag out of commission, there'd be no place for them to breed. One of the whole reasons they died is because when the ocean cooled, their range shrunk. Number two, they'd never have enough food to survive. As a 60 foot 40 ton shark, Megalodon would have needed a disrespectful amount of food, and not only did its regular victims get smaller and faster, great white sharks ran the table and left them nothing but a plate of disappointment. They starved to death then, and they starved to death now. Number three, if by some force of nature a shark the length of a bowling lane was still around, either its dead body would wash ashore or its teeth would pop up at the animals it ate. The giant squid spends its entire life at the bottom of the ocean and we still know they exist for this exact reason. Plus, playing Wars Waldo with a 60-foot nuclear submarine with teeth wouldn't last that long. If they were still alive, we would know. And number four, they're just outdated. The Meg lived in a time where nature was on drugs and everything on Earth was on steroids because of higher oxygen content. But when nature switched up and animals got smaller, the Meg got left behind. They just needed too much food and it wouldn't be fast enough to get it, so like an episode of Family Guy, Meg would take an L. Animal miss that you believe because you were a stupid little kid, like me. If you touch a baby bird, its mother will reject it. It's wrong because most birds have a limited sense of smell, so they wouldn't even know if a human touched their chick. You still shouldn't touch them though, because a mother will leave her chicks to die if she feels like a predator discovered their nest. If you cut an earthworm in half, you will not get two earthworms. The head of the worm will regenerate a new body if the cut is behind the clitellum, which is right there. But the tail end dies. So if you ever split worms as a kid, there's a good chance you murdered them for no reason, you little psychopath. There was actually a time where the internet genuinely believed that people swallowed eight spiders a year in their sleep. No. No, they don't. Because you might be scared of them, but spiders are terrified of you. The sound of your breathing and your heartbeat will create vibrations that would freak them out so they'd go out of their way to avoid you. There was a woman that would sleep next to her python every night and when it stopped eating, she took it to the vet and found out it was sizing her up to eat her. Not true, snakes don't measure out their victims before they eat it, they just swallow without a conscience. If snakes actually went through the trouble of measuring out their prey before they ate them, they'd starve to death because no animal's gonna sit there and let that happen. Also, you can't tell me they have great planning skills after this one died deep during a porcupine. Animal myths that you believe because you were a dumb little kid, just like me. 
Cats don't always land on their feet, it depends on the height they fall, and it turns out the higher they fall, the less injuries they get. A study in New York showed that cats that fall from 7 to 32 stories suffered less injuries than cats that fell from 2 to 6 stories. More air time means more time to make adjustments. But it makes you wonder how many cats got yeeted for science. Bats aren't blind, a lot would actually rather use eyesight to fly. But they can fly blindfolded because echolocation gives them a good understanding of their surroundings. Bulls don't hate the color red, it's actually the movement of the cape that makes them turn up. A pissed off bull will charge at a black or white cape the exact same way because equality. But the reason they use a red cape is to hide the blood stains from the bull so people watching don't realize how brutal and violent this sport actually is. Lions don't pretend to be hurt by the bites from their cubs to encourage them. Lions often yawn to show irritation so this isn't a father building confidence as Mufasa about to backhand the lights at a Simba. Goldfish do not have bad memories, they can actually remember up to 5 months and they can be taught to remember human faces. And they're accurate, one was able to pick out the right human face out of 44 possible options. I'll be teaching y'all for free, so if you learn something new today instead of tuition, I'll happily take an Instagram follow. I have animals that only disappoint me the more I learn about them. The fact that one of the cutest animals in the world might be the closest to Satan. If you want a full video, let me know, but short story, their sociopath Sea Wheels was born from the flames of Lucifer with the spirit of Ted Bundy and a dash of Dan Schneider. I love pandas, but the more I learn about them, the more I realize they're functionally useless, and if they didn't have pretty privilege on their side, they would have gone extinct a long time ago. Because they get a D- in every aspect of life. Marty was my favorite character in Madagascar, and then I found out how aggressive and downright demonic zebras can be. All I can say is if the alpha male zebra sees a pregnant female, he will not be pro-life. Not only will he delete a fetus, he'll murder any baby zebras that are already alive. Number two are cheetahs because I spent my childhood standing them just to find out they get bullied by everything in life. Unless it's a 100 meter dash or a bird call contest, they take the L every time. Also, they're extremely inbred and there's only 7,000 left. Number one has to be the water bear. Y'all overrated this moss pig because it can survive in space, but the truth is they can survive anything except the things actively trying to kill them. Like Tears who said, it's like if Superman's weakness were bullets. Most don't live longer than a few months and they can't even survive each other. No way to defend themselves, no bag at all, just vibes. And they're gonna get clapped by climate change. Damn.